I'm, op I'm opening for Mimi at the Altar, and I'm also playing on a bill with Honey Revenge and John Harvey. And this is my minivan. I'm traveling the country and 10,000 miles in this baby, so yeah. <laughs> this is Matt, my driver, my tour manager, bodyguard, everything else. Everything. Kaya does everything. everything. Also, my best friend. I call him my brother because he's basically adopted in my family, so Let's go. that's Matt. And this is my warthog. I got it from a fan, and it's my favorite animal in the world. And this is my favorite stuffed animal now. I literally bring it everywhere. My comfort animal. Um, this is my wallet. I like to like slap it on the counter when I go into hotels because sometimes I know Hamtaro, and then we can bond over it. Sometimes. Um, this is Matt's raptor claws that he just bought today. <laughs> he wore them while driving, uh, and he's like waving at people out the window. And stuff. <laughs> These are my Kleenexes. <laughs> I have my beef turkey stash in here, so I have like tons of beef turkey we collect along the way because that's what I do. I like beef turkey. That's what's in here. Um, this is my lamb that I bought. I forgot a stuffed animal when I first came on the tour, so I was like, I gotta go get one. So I got a lamb. I love lambs. Um, this is a backup hat in case mine something happens to mine. I have to have a bunny hat, so this one's just like a random one I have just in case. Worst case scenario. Uh <laughs> <laughs> Oh, this is my Nintendo Switch is in here. I just kind of, I haven't used it yet, but I have it just in case I want to play Overwatch. That's what I do on there. This is a magazine I found at the first Walmart I got to here. It's about miracles. It's cool. It's just some stuff in there about miracles. Uh, I got some manga in here. I haven't read this yet, but my brother wanted me to get it, so I got this manga. I, it looks like it's going to be good, but it's hard to find, so hopefully it's good. <laughs> so this up here... I got Lizard. I got him in Columbus, Ohio when I visited last time and he's been in like all my cars since then. This one is from a fan and we were like, hey, Lizard needs a friend. So he's up there now too. Yeah, we do need more. Hopefully we get some soon. So this is my rosary. I keep them up here just to remind myself, keep myself grounded when I'm on tour. These are all of my bracelets from fans for this tour so far. I had a bunch from my last tours, but I like, there are way too many to bring. So I was like, I'm gonna start over this tour. And so far I have a lot and I'm not even halfway through the tour yet. So. Hopefully I get some more. That's awesome. My bubblegum soldiers. I love them so much. Yeah, we're, while we're driving in here, usually we have music going on. Sometimes really loud. Sometimes if I have mom in the back, she'll be like, can you turn down a little bit? Depends on the song though. If it's her song, she's like, crank that! Um, we listen to a lot of Joy Wave. I toured with them. It's my first tour ever and it's my favorite band now. So I listen to them a lot. Yeah, we got We've this got this 10,000 mile tour playlist we got going on here. We all, all three of us are collaborators, me, mom, and Matt. So we just kind of got I think we have 20, how many hours? 33. We have 33 hours of music on here, <laughs> of like all of our shared things we enjoy. Generally, we agree on music. Sometimes he'll put something crazy on there that I'm like, you have to skip this because it's really, really annoying. Like Crazy Frog. Like Crazy Frog. Crazy. That's okay. What are, what are the worst ones you do? Like the Cam AI Plankton. Like AI Plankton music. He puts it on. <laughs> like Plankton doing AI covers of like Christina Perry, Jar of Hearts. Um, <laughs> that one was fun at first, but after like four, I'm like, you gotta stop now. <laughs> this is. My mom sits right here in this seat, and then some other stuff over here. This is all of Matt's mangas he's collecting. <laughs> Matt's been collecting the blame mangas. I think there's some other books under here, too. Yeah, like some Into cool stuff. Wild. Into the wild, yeah. stuff like that. Um, we kind of just keep things up back here that we might need. We have a little trash bag, so we keep everything clean and nice, because we don't like to have trash everywhere. This is our snack bag. We haven't even like plumbed the depths of this. We bought most of this in like the first day, and yeah. we just been kind of going through it slowly. There's some biscotti. That's fun. I don't even know we had that, I'm not gonna lie. Yep, I'm um, on. This is Matt's smart food. He loves this. He puts it in the fridge when we go to the hotel, so he eats it really cold. <laughs> um, we got some ketchup lays. <clears throat> we got this in Canada because we were like, these are gonna be good. They're really gross. Don't like them. Awful. Um, sorry, Canada. <laughs> we got some Smarties. One of my fans gave me a gift basket, gift basket from like Canadian and snacks and stuff, so this is one of them. There's more back there. I'll show you later. Um, we got, I mean, there's so much in here. <laughs> we got bread. This is probably getting old. I don't know if we can eat this Ew. anymore. <laughs> we got, this is really important. I have to go on everything. It's in case something's gross or bland. You gotta put chulos <laughs> on it. So, yes, absolutely. Let's see, anything crazy? This is from my dad. My dad was on tour with us for the first like week and he left, but this was his. So I guess we don't really need this anymore. <laughs> uh, I'll eat that one night. <laughs> okay, Matt, I will eat that one night. Matt says he'll eat it, so we'll keep it around. Um, we have a Modelo that was drank already. I think that's my mom's probably. Yeah. <laughs> what else we got in here? Anything fun? I think that's mostly it. Just like more boring snacks. Like what? What? Pita chips? <laughs> we need to go through this. 
Trader Joe's and found a bunch of stuff, and that was one of them. We, so. we need to go to this back because I don't think we're going to eat any of this. But maybe, actually, we might. Who this knows? was the snack drawer back here, but. Yeah, so that one up there was the snack bin. We decided to put only beef jerky. There's a baby bottle pop in there, <laughs> some egg creams. Well, the are so important. A whole thing of beef jerky. Four more things of beef jerky. That's what we do here. One more thing of beef jerky. <laughs> you don't really get meals on tours. You have to, like, snack, you know? You got to snack. Oh, look! And an AirPod. That's, that's my AirPods! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so back here is stuff that is not on stage because everything is on stage is up there already. Not much, like three boxes. So what we have left here is these are from a fan. These are extra snacks. So they, they actually give us two gift baskets full of snacks for one for me, one for Matt. And they gave us an extra one so we can share with the people on tour with us, which is so sweet. There's literally every Canadian snack you can imagine in here. Like, I don't even know what half these are. I tried one of these for the first time yesterday. Which one was it? They're like the Turkish ones? What is this? Yeah, this thing. I've never had this in my life, but it's so good. Me and Matt were like freaking out in the car. What is it? The Turkish Delight things? Oh. Yeah, they're so good. So that's here. This is paper. I write my set list on here. So Matt runs and grabs this for me, because like, we always forget. So I'll be like five minutes before I go on. And he's like, do you want to do a set list? And he runs down to get this for me. Um, this is my tip basket. I found it at a little kawaii store in, I think we're in Toronto. Yeah. And it's just like, it's where I get my tips. And I put little bubbles on there because I have a bubble machine on stage, these little bubble guns, so that's what that's for. I bought a bunch of permanent markers because mine keep getting either taken or lost because I can't keep track of small things like that. And this is to hold my sign up. I have a sign with my name on it. So this is like we made this out of two things that you like put them on your wall to make a shelf, but we were like, well, let's use these for the shine, and it works. This is my hand sanitizer because I don't want to get sick on tour, so I keep this in my table when I do merch, and I like every five minutes I'm covering my whole body in this. This is the bunny suit. So uh, a mystery person comes on stage during my set and they are the bunny. They wear the suit and they wear the bunny hat that covers their face. And this is basically, their name is Eels, Eel Smiles. It's my alter ego. See, I made it all out of like, uh, that whatever it's called, the those like puff, puff paint, I think it's called, something like that. And I made it out of that. I think I actually used permanent marker for this, not gonna lie. But yeah, I made that myself. So this is all stuff for the bunny, for when the bunny comes out. They come out in the beginning to start my set, and then they come out later to jump around with me and stuff, and to blow the bubbles, so that's really important. And otherwise, just kind of like random stuff. That's like a med kit. Call it a med kit. It's actually just like a thing for in case everything goes wrong on stage, you have one of everything extra, basically. So that's about it, yeah. Thanks for checking out the minivan. We called the bubble bus, so hopefully you'll see us around soon. I have a tour lined up, but I don't think I can quite announce it yet, but you can look forward to it, June and July. Keep your eye out, it'll be around the country again. Um, you can come find me, Elliot Lee Official, on Instagram, and Elliot Lee Music if there's not enough characters for Elliot Official on anything else, so just search those both, you'll find me eventually. I have a check mark on everything except for Twitter, cause, or X, because I don't pay for it there. But you know, I have, you'll find me easily. And yeah, you can listen to the Primordial Archive. It's like an archival album I just put out. It's got all my favorite things that I've written and released in the past, plus one extra song called Funny Bunny. So if you want to check me out, that's it. I'm Elliot Lee. It's nice to hang.